Hey YouTube, what is up? I'm Dixie here, and today I'm coming at you with a review today. This is on the uh, HC Man or ZK Team Wolf Esports Gaming Gear Keyboard. A uh, fully mechanical keyboard. Uh, this one has the uh, blue switches, so it's like a blue Cherry MX key. Uh, but it's their own custom switches. So, uh, let's go ahead and open the box here. Let's see what's inside. So we have some nice parchment paper here. Let's just put that off to the side. There's the bad boy. Some nice font. Nice, nice font. Uh, since I have the blue keys, very clicky. Uh, so let's get this out. So I guess in this little box here, it comes with its cable. Yep. I see something else though. So. Looks like we got some other goodies on the side here. Nothing more in the box. Okay, so we have a uh, keycap or a uh, mechanical keyboard remover tool. So to like push it in and pull it out, right? And it looks like we actually have all the um, switches here that, of what they offer here. So we got a red. A brown, a blue, and a black switch. Let's actually open this. If I can. Let me get my knife. Oh. This box is tough. I hate when they use this plastic, this stupid plastic. Okay, here we go. We got it. So let's take it out. So here, if you want, since we got the practice keys, if I wanted to on the keyboard, switch any key on here with one of these uh, switches because they are real. See how they have the uh, pins and stuff? That's for the connecting. So this is red, silent. This one's kind of clicky. And there's the blue. And there's the black. This one actually feels like it has resistance to it. Yeah. Like, this one has resistance. This one looks just like a regular. This one actually clicks about halfway. See, I'm not pushing it down on the way. And it's already clicking. Not like this one. Like I have to push all the way down for it to click. This one actually doesn't click. It's just you have to push down all the way, so that's normal. And then the the black one has some resistance to it. So okay, that's actually pretty cool that they uh, included this. And so let's put the tool over here. We got the uh, nice golden USB. Probably 2.0. Yeah, 2.0. Okay. That's still cool though, that's all we need. And then we have an information book in uh, Chinese? Japanese? Please be in English. I can get it. Man, I really need a stand for this. Okay. How do you. Oh, oh there we go, okay. Okay, so let's. Yeah, English. Okay. So yeah. So yeah, one side is Chinese. As you can see, it's Chinese, but on the other side, it's English. So you get this cool uh, instruction manual telling you everything about it. The special keys, uh, functions, multimedia functions. Oh, there's a switch exchange method and stuff. So yeah, it shows you how. So you take the, the tool. With the back here, this thing, and I guess you push it on, right? Push it on, get the key back, uh, keycap off, and then you take this tool, and you push it in in this pinch, right? Pinch and then lift up, and it should take it out. And then you just grab the other one, slap it in, and put the keycap on. But you really don't need a tool; you can just pull it off. It's mechanical, right? So it's, that's the keycap. See how it's Cherry MX too? You can. Uh, get any Cherry MX um, 
uh, switches for it. So if you want like a gold WASD or a different space bar or like colored keys, you can actually uh, order them and they will fit. Um, but they aren't um, Cherry MX, they're something else. So um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. Uh, and if you continue to watch my channel, I will show a uh, re review on this. Um, okay, so I'll have like the backlit and how it feels and using it after a couple hours and stuff like that, alright? So I hope you enjoyed this uh, unboxing. Have a good day.